What is up YouTube? It's Kingfisher745 and you're about to see the unlocking of Drax the Destroyer. That's right, despite a hectic end to this tournament, perhaps the worst one yet, which I feel like I'm saying every time, something obviously needs to be done. I think they need to at least cap defenses. Let me know what you think in the comments section below. Oh, and by the way, before we get into our rewards, I do want to thank AJ Designs for that amazing graphic. This season I finished at 1625 and a very similar rank to last season. The scary part came with about 44 or 45 minutes left in this tournament. I was around 1700 rating. I clicked refresh and was shocked to see that I was somewhere around 1580 rating. At one point I even fell to 1540 and I just had to keep fighting to claw my way back up. It was extremely difficult and I'd have to say ridiculous. You should not be able to lose a hundred rating in a blink of an eye. Oh, but this is the diamond reward weapon and it's called the satellite support. It has scanner sweep so attacks against this character cannot be stealthy. Then your agent ignores distraction and disoriented and prepares wild blue yonder in three rounds. Next we have the new infiltrator safeguard suit. It comes with balance so it's immune to off balance. And then you can get infiltrator safeguard. This gives an increased chance to dodge attacks and the next attack applies fumbling. It also comes with high accuracy and evasion and very importantly it does have an empowered ISO 8 slot. I have to say this does seem like a pretty good uniform but it's still really scary to use an infiltrator right now. This is especially true because of Scrapper Quicksilver and the very dangerous Quicklock teams. Then moving on to our final reward the Adamantium League hero is going to be a member of the Guardians of the Galaxy and it's the Scrapper Drax. My early impressions of him were that he is a cool character but I don't think he's going to be that powerful. I guess we'll just have to wait and see because I'm not able to train him right now. However I still want to show you him in action so we will take a look at him at level 1. Oh and now I just need to get Avalanche and Cannonball but I am having terrible luck with Avalanche's covers. I've already filled two bonus bars and I'm up to seven duplicates. At this point I'm just hoping I get them before the Spec Ops ends. I'm not too worried but I may set a personal record for duplicates. But anyways like I said coming up I'll be using Drax and I'm going to use them with one of the other Guardians of the Galaxy. Also I do want to mention that I think it's a shame that they don't get a bonus. I think there should definitely be some sort of Guardians of the Galaxy passive. That's just something for the devs to think about assuming that any of them are watching. Now since I'm using the tactician empowered costume we can use satellite support as a quick action. I do want to see that wild blue yonder so let's go ahead and use that first. Next I'm going to use the savage spear which I do plan to make a video about. So for anyone curious about this weapon you'll want to check that one out. After using our noxious strike Gamora can use her fatal blow ability execute well to execute this hitman for lack of a better term. Then with Drax we have a lot to choose from. We're going to use his only ability obliterate. It does apply disabled and tenderized so the enemy will now take increased damage from slashing attacks. And let's obliterate this top captain. Of course since Drax is only level 1 this doesn't do that much damage. Then after the enemy uses a covering fire we do see Drax's passive ability marked for revenge. This says he will take extra damage on the next attack. And then looking at Drax, we're going to see his passive ability called Blood for Blood. It applies Marked for Revenge when attacked and preemptively counters enemies with Marked for Revenge. That's a pretty nice passive ability I have to admit. Then going with the Savage Spear once again, we're hitting him with the Soporific Strike. And admittedly I've never seen that word before so I did look it up and the definition is tending to induce drowsiness or sleep. So yeah that makes sense. Oh and we're going to get to see another obliterate and then after the enemy attacks we see another proc of marked for revenge. The only bad thing is I kind of wish we would have seen a preemptive strike. But I want to move on to the second wave so I'm going to finish off these captains. After that we should have wild blue yonder ready to go. So moving on to our second wave we're going to be facing two infiltrators. That's great news for our Drax. Oh and it appears we have a multi-function on our satellite support. Apparently this is where Wild Blue Yonder shows up. So that's interesting but right now it's not going to do enough damage. So what we need to do is try to set up some debuffs. 
First we'll use the improbability field. Right after doing this I do notice that we made a mistake. I should have gave us a second turn that way we could recharge. Then after getting some stamina back we could cast Wild Blue Yonder. It's alright though I'll just use a Quantum Elixir and this will give my agent stamina and an immediate turn. Now let's go ahead and see what that Wild Blue Yonder is going to do damage wise. It really can do a ton depending on how many debuffs and how many buffs the opponents have. This would have actually been really impressive in this past season and it would have helped with all that disoriented as well. Especially against those Loki teams. It felt like I was disoriented the entire match. Oh and also who else noticed that he always went first? Ok I have to stop myself or else I'll get off on a rant. Now I have to admit I'm not too happy that you get counterattacked after using Wild Blue Yonder. But I suppose if you're using it as a finisher it won't matter. And that's going to be it for our first look at the satellite support and the new character Drax. I hope you enjoyed the video and I want to thank you all for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe. And until next time good luck and take care.